Good morning, everybody. Andrea Williams from Jammin 98.3 joins me today, not only for chat, right, but also you're going to be my co-host throughout the entire show. We've got a special day called Jammin Cares. Good morning to you. Good morning, my friend. How are you? I'm doing well. I love that necklace. You look gorgeous. Oh, thank you. You always look gorgeous, and it's always a pleasure to be here with you. Very important show, like you said, but uh, we've got some uh, kind of lighthearted things to talk about today, right? We do, and actually, I'm going to start with you about something we talked about yesterday, and I didn't get to share the actual like punchline, which is this peanut butter personality, okay? Most people online, we had people sound off on our Facebook page, and I asked, are you crunchy or are you creamy? And I didn't get to tell why, the personality traits that are assigned to it. So which one are you, crunchy or creamy peanut butter? Well, to prove that I'm telling the truth, I brought my organic, no stir, crunchy peanut butter. Oh, you're a crunchy. So I'm crunchy. Okay, I'm a creamy. <laughs> um, okay. And here's what it says about you. So you're gonna like this. 63% of people who choose crunchy peanut butter say that they are an optimist. Would you say so? Ah. I think so. I think so too. Okay, creamy peanut yeah. butter fans on the flip side are found to be early birds who are introverted, which is hilarious because Curtis, who you saw, who is our floor director today, who was about to point just a second ago for when to go, he's a creamy, <laughs> he fits that. I'm a creamy, I fit neither of those. <laughs> Right. I was going to say, that's totally not you. No, I'm a night owl, and I absolutely am not <laughs> introverted. <laughs> At all. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so that's what that says about you. This, I want to know um, if you would eat, because you and I always, you brought me one time these just crazy food items, so I prepared this just for you today. Um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know you'd like it. Okay, so there's this place in, in Des Moines, Iowa. It's called Fong's, and they created, my one of my best friends is from Des Moines, and she's been there. She said it's great pizza, but they created this new pizza, and on top is Fruit Loops, okay? So this is, I that's obviously not this. the pizza. Yeah, okay, so it's a, it's a dessert pizza. So I wanna know what you think of dessert pizzas in general, because apparently this has like sweet cream, mozzarella, Fruit Loops. <laughs> Sorry, no. No? Would you even try it? No. No. <laughs> what I don't is want the Fruit Loops on a pizza? I would totally try it. I like a good like fruit <laughs> dessert pizza. I mean, I would try. I, I, I'm one of those people. I'll pretty much try anything. But what's the oddest yeah. pizza creation that you've ever tried that you did like? The oddest? Yeah. No, I'm pretty much a stickler. You know, like boring girl. I do like. I think chicken with um i don't what's the little uh, i can't even remember what olives? i put on it but no not olives okay. um i keep wanting to say asparagus <laughs> oh eggplant no i don't know i can't think but that's <laughs> yeah that's because you know i have issues with the kitchen <laughs> well i like everything I, and here's our sound off today so that's our sound off Go to our Facebook t uh, page and let us know what is the oddest pizza creation you've ever tried. And speaking of odd creations, you brought me one today about peeps. Is that right? Yeah. You know, every celebrity and, you know, everybody that somebody has either a skincare line or a makeup line. <laughs> and I was totally thrown. And I thought of you immediately when I saw that peeps has this new makeup line that is going to include eyeshadow palettes and then they're going to have these special little collection of sponges that cute. look just like the cute little candy oh. so i don't know if i try it because i envision like the bright pink or yeah. the bright yellow Very eyeshadow 80s. but yeah yeah but it might be cute for maybe like a tween or someone put in a basket as a gift okay so this is probably kind of like eastery right uh, well, yeah, because they're actually doing this for a limited time. Their surprise limited edition of products released <laughs> this month just ahead of Easter. So I'm thinking it's thought out at least. I think it's kind of cute. I mean, you're right. It'd be super cute, cute in a basket for sure. I might actually send that to my goddaughter. I'm sure people can just go online and see where to buy it, right? Absolutely. And I'm still trying to think of what that other ingredient is I'll put on pizza, but go ahead. You know, there's people literally at home yelling at the TV. Is it this? Is it this? So you can write that on our Facebook too. Give, I'll give Andrea a prompt. Um, okay. I got to tell you this before we go, because it's discover what your name means day. And so they're encouraging everybody okay. to go out to the internet, Google their name and actually find out what it means. So I did that for you and I, and I just have, I had a blast because yours is hilarious. Do you know what your name means? 
I don't. Okay. Okay. So your name is derived from Greek, and it means manly, virile, strong, courageous warrior. Did you say manly? Manly, because it says <laughs> it's also a man's name. <laughs> Because I think there's like Andre, you know? And yeah, there is Andre and then it's Andre. Well, I pronounce it Andrea, so yeah. <laughs> it's funny. My mom says she got my name out of her French book in high school, so. Oh, oh, that's cute. I was named after the um, the jewelry store. I was supposed to be a Megan. And then they switched oh. it after my dad went to Tiffany's in New York. Um, yeah, yeah, mine's much more religious. Uh, it's, a, it's appearance of God. <laughs> Oh, that's way better than manly. I remember that Thanks. though. But yeah, but yours is like warrior and strong. I don't know. Aggressive, I might... yeah. strong. I think you got that. I won't that. be any of those today, I promise. Well, I encourage everybody to go out and Google their name today for find out what the meaning of your name is today. You should know that, right? So thanks. So, uh, thankful. Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's interesting to say the least. It is. Well, thanks for chatting with me. You're going to stick around all show um, as we talk about the Jam and Cares show. So this is pretty exciting. Yeah, it is. Thanks for having us. I'm really, really happy that we're able to do this together.